Origin 2015 adds more than 100 new features and improvements to version 9.1. In this video, we will take a look at some highlights, especially the ease of use features. As you can see here, the key focus in Origin 2015 is to improve the product's usability. We have added new features such as collapsible menus and thumbnails of graph previews in Project Explorer. Access Dialog has been redesigned again to make it feel more like the original Access Dialog that has been around for 15 years, while still supporting all the new, more advanced features like multiple access breaks. Based on user feedback, we have improved metadata support in Origin, and you can now search for metadata in the project. We also improved usability in doing calculations in Origin. You can now search functions and also see matching parentheses in different colors. Bubble plot is a popular feature in Origin, and now the new bubble legend can properly indicate the scale in that dimension. Categorical values have been supported in Origin for many years, and now finally users can manage the categories, like sorting orders. Heat map has become more popular in recent years, and it is now simple to make in Origin 2015. Python support has been integrated into Origin to allow programmers to use their preferred language and also take advantage of the wide range of available codes out there. To see more new features, please visit originlab.com 2015. Since new features are added to Origin with every version, some menus and context menus have become very long, making it difficult to find features at a glance. We therefore introduced collapsible menus that only show the commonly used options by default. Newly used menus will be added to the collapsible menu list. In Origin 9.1, the Access Dialog was redesigned to add support for many new features, such as multiple access breaks. But this changed the look and feel of the Dialog too much, and many people told us that they prefer the original Access Dialog. So again, we have redesigned this important Dialog to make it look and work pretty much like the old one, while still supporting all the new features. In Origin 2015, the Access Dialog is back to the more tab-based version with visual icons on the left panel for easier navigation. In addition to supporting the new 9.1 features, this dialog also allows selecting multiple axes on the left panel to customize them together. Graph Previews is a popular request from our users. Searching for a particular graph used to involve opening numerous windows in the workspace and can be time-consuming, especially with complex graphs involving large amounts of data. In Origin 2015, the last drawn image of a graph is cached as the graph preview. You can take advantage of this in two ways. You can choose either the extra-large icon view of Project Explorer where the previews show up as thumbnails, or you can choose the more popular details view in which the preview will pop up when hovering the mouse over graph or layout windows. Hovering the mouse over other window types will show useful information as tooltips as well. For example, when you mouse over a workbook, window comments will show as tooltips. And if you mouse over a notes window, the notes window contents will show as tooltips. Additionally, now comments can be added to folders in projects. In the new Find in Project dialog, you can find metadata associated with various objects in your project, such as window, sheet, column, legend, and graph text, for example. You can also narrow where to search in the Select Metadata dialog. In older versions, it's quite limited. Only window names, labels, or folder names were searchable. For Bubble Plot, we introduced the Bubble Scale object which can be displayed in either a linear layout or as shown in this graph as a nested layout. You can double click it for further options. Now let's talk about categorical values improvements in Origin 2015. In the past, for categorical values in a column, there were only two orders available, the data order or the alphabetical ascending order. For controlling the orders, data had to be reordered manually before being used for graphing or analysis. In Origin 2015, after setting a column as categorical, you can double-click the new category's label row cell to customize the categorical order. You can add or delete extra values in the order. 
The associated graph or analysis will follow the user-defined categorical order. Changing it will update the graph and analysis automatically. Plus, it's very easy to copy or save a categorical order and apply it to other columns now. We added three new graph types customers requested, heat map, 2D kernel density, and column scatter plot, also known as a jitter plot. Here is an example of the heat map plot. It is much easier to rearrange the legend now. For example, you can right-click a legend object and use the context menu to reverse the legend order. You can also hold down the control key and drag the legend object to rearrange it into multiple columns. We also added search built-in function capability in the set column values dialog and nonlinear curve fit dialog. Before defining your own formula, you can use this tool to search if we have built-in functions that suit your needs. In this version, we also support colored pairs of parentheses in the set column values dialog, function builder, function plot, column filter, and worksheet query, anywhere where formula or function are defined. This feature will help avoid unpaired parentheses errors when writing long formulae or script. Another improvement in the set column values dialog is that one-line function explanations appear on the status bar when you mouse over a function under the functions menu. After you add a function in the formula box, a smart hint with a detailed explanation of the function and how to use it will appear. Anytime you double-click a function name in the formula box, the smart hint will reappear. Hopefully, all these improvements will help you define formulae to do column calculations. As we mentioned in the beginning, this video only shows some highlights of Origin 2015. To see more features we added, please visit originlab.com/2015. Thank you for watching.